dragon goes to school. Brilliant news, Sparky, George told his pet dragon. Next week is bring your pet to school week. Everyone will love your fantastic fire-breathing tricks. You're sure to win best pet trophy. Super duper, said Sparky excitedly. He began practising his favourite tricks straight away. In not my cushions again, cried George's mum. Is it safe taking Sparky to school, George? Perfectly safe, right Sparky? smiled George. Sparky nodded. All week long, George's classmates brought their pets to school. On Monday, Emily's hamster muncher could squeeze 14 peanuts into her cheek pouches. Splendid, smiled their teacher, Miss Perks. On Tuesday, Sunita's kitten Fluffy jumped through a pink sparkly hoop with a little help. Wednesday was doggy day. Callum's puppy ran round and round in circles, chasing his own tail, until he got dizzy. Everyone marvelled at Rufus. He could bark up to three. It was a shame about Bozo. Never mind. But on Thursday, Amber's talking parrot Poppy had the class clapping wildly again. My school friends have got great pets, George told Sparky back home, but you are the best pet ever. Everyone is going to be blown away by you. And tomorrow, it's Friday, our turn. George couldn't wait, neither could Sparky. It was hugely exciting. The following morning, George's dad handed out two school rucksacks, one for George and one for Sparky. Don't let Sparky burn the school down, he joked, waving them goodbye. Ah, oh, gasped Miss Perks. You've brought a dragon to school, George. Is it safe? Perfectly safe, right, Sparky? George smiled. Sparky nodded and turned around. His tail accidentally hit a table. A dusty old globe went spinning. Ah, 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 gasped Sparky, trying back to hold a sneeze. Ah, 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 chew! A huge flame shot from Sparky's mouth. His class nature display went up in smoke. Sparky, sit down, ordered Miss Perks. Sparky did. Snap! He broke the chair. Oh no, cried George. Oops, a crasher, sighed Sparky, blushing bright red. The class began to giggle. George, please take Sparky back home now, said Miss Perks. We need to start getting ready for our swimming lesson. But Sparky hasn't even shown anyone his special trick yet, George pleaded. Please, Miss Perks, we've been practising it all week. Oh, very well, agreed Miss Perks. But is it safe? Perfectly safe, right, Sparky? replied George. Sparky nodded again. The planet mobiles went flying. Right, announced George proudly. Sparky will now demonstrate flying upside down whilst drinking a glass of cherry pop and blowing free fizzy red smoke clouds from his nostrils. Puff, puff, cough, gasp, help! Sparky! cried George. That's not how we practised it. Smoke, whoop, squeaked Sparky. Suddenly, ding, ding, ding. Sparky's smoke had set the school fire alarm off. Everybody out, shouted Miss Perks. Remember our fire drill children and walk nicely to the swimming pool building. Everyone got out calmly and safely, but at the swimming pool, there was much more commotion. Someone's accidentally switched the heating off, gasped the school caretaker. The water's freezing. Oh dear children, Miss Perks announced. I'm sorry. That means our swimming lesson is cancelled today. Oh, groaned the class. George looked at Sparky. Sparky looked at George. Miss Perks, said George. Sparky has an idea to help. Is it safe? Miss Perks asked. Perfectly safe, right Sparky? smiled George. Sparky nodded and breathed in deeply. Whoosh! Sparky heated up the pool with one huge hot fiery breath. Ooh, the water is toasty warm. The children cheered. It's fantastic! Everyone loved whizzing down Sparky's tail and splashing in the pool. Even Miss Perks had a go. Can Sparky join us for every swimming lesson? The class the class begged. Hmm, said Miss Perks, but she was smiling. George was so proud, especially when Sparky was awarded the best pet trophy. Unfortunately, Sparky did get a little overexcited when Miss Perks handed him the cup. He accidentally breathed on it and mounted the handles. Fortunately, George was ready with his fire extinguisher.
So it was all perfectly safe in the end. Or is it? Can you guess who I am? <laughs>